Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and my tips, tricks, build like me, with me, whatever I'm calling it, series. Now in this particular episode I thought we would go through some kitchen building. You might think that, okay, th I know exactly how to build a kitchen, I don't know why you're doing this. I keep encountering some questions over and over again that seem to be very clear to some of us, but not the again rest of us. So I figured I'll go through some of these things in this episode because that's the latest question I got. I do need to point out a couple of things. A. I always build with the BB move objects cheat on. I just do not know how to live without it. So that's a one thing that I need to keep reminding you of that that's how I build. And when you build with that cheat, it means that you can completely clutter up spaces so that the sim cannot move or work around that area. In most cases, if you see very beautifully cluttered kitchen, it means that there is very few counter spaces there that the sim can actually use. So keep that in mind when you're using BBB, uh, BB move objects on cheat in your buildings. It can break the house to be unlivable. So you need to actually use your brain a little bit to see and figure out what is workable, counter, what is not. And another thing is that my mouse is giving up. I refuse to buy a new one until it actually breaks, but sometimes double click doesn't work or it, it's very, very, very fast at its movements. So I'm gonna apologize for any inconvenience. I start my kitchen building usually just by choosing a counter that I like. It depends on the build uh, style. If it's modern, I usually like to go with the um, I don't even know what build, uh, what pack this is from. It's uh, ice cream crown. Is it? Uh... Hang on, hang on. Cool kitchen, right? Okay, cool kitchen counter. I also much like. Well, I pretty much like all of these, but some of them don't have the cabinets on them, which is a shame. And some of the cabinets are not exactly beautiful. So to learn, combo them the way that you like. You just need to keep on building, building, building and see what goes together and what does not. But let's just um, choose any, any old counter. And um, I have turned off my grid, but as you can see, the counters can go between the gridding as well, which for some not as advanced builder, it can be a little bit tricky without the grid on, but I know exactly where it is, so I don't need it on, but for the argument's sake, I'm gonna keep it on, even though it's burning my eyes, but you know. Um, let's put one there. Then we are thinking like, where would the fridge be? And where would be the stove and stuff like that? And I'm the type who tries to think in real life, what would work in my own kitchen? Well, not many things in the sim are what they would be in real life, right? But what I'm thinking is that we can, hmm, Actually, I'm gonna remove that straight away, and then I'm just gonna continue up in here. Okay, we have one wall. We have one wall here, and we can choose a fridge. We can choose our stove. We can snuck them in there, right? And now comes the problem of what do we do with the kitchen now? It's technically working. It, it has everything now that we technically need. Right? I would add some cabinets. Now I'm gonna have to take the move object cheat off actually, so I can show you that. Uh oh. Can't do that. Cannot do that. So I would need to do this. Um, I probably would pull one there too. I could put one above the stove, but. I would probably like to put like a stove hood instead. So let's put a stove hood there. That's a stupid height. Wow. Okay. No wonder I always fix it in the move object. Uh, anyway, 
Now we have this really weird, odd, empty spot here. Well, I would probably go to object by function and I would go to surfaces and into displays. And because Maxis updated this, they gave a white color for us. I will probably put this here, right? That's not really fancy and beautiful, is it? We will fix it in a minute. Then what we could probably do is to add a bar. There we go. We can add a just a regular bar here. Nothing fancy. We have that one square in between these. You would even be able to put it in front of the fridge to close because of the two square requirement for it to work. Stove, however, lets you put right next to it. But remember that the sim has to actually stand here. And in the sims, a square is the required distance. In this case, we could give that little more space in between here by putting them in between the two full squares, like so. So there's space for possibly two people cooking at the same time, other making pasta carbonara, other one doing garden salad. I don't know, something like so. So now we have a working kitchen. We probably want to add some seats here. I don't know. Let's just add some jolly old stools here. And we can press H to reset our mouse again. We, we don't need to go into this top menu here. If I could hide it, I would, because I don't need it. Um, so here is our working kitchen with a tab. Let's take a look at it. Beautiful, right? It works, it does what it's supposed to, nothing alike. But if we copy this, same kitchen now, let's take a copy tool, let's basically make the same thing all over again. Let's copy all the same ones. I could have copied the whole room, actually, I could have, but I want for the argument's sake to use the eyedropper, the copy tool. So let's just choose those for now. Okay. And now I'm gonna turn on the move objects again, because this is where it becomes handy. We can choose this. And because we have the outer counters off, we can go to the kitchen area actually. Because we have the outer counters off, it means that if we add another counter into this corner, like so, it actually does it a quarter piece. But if it's off and we put it on another counter here, they don't connect on this side. When with the auto counters on, it does it automatically. So we can add some more counters on this side, if we so will, if, see, if, if we decide we want to. And the same thing goes with the counters. You can choose the color, whatever you want it to be. We could put pink counters if we wanted to. But what I'm after is actually this automatic, uh, this um, cog wheel here. And it's turning off the auto counters again. But it gives us a huge variety of the cabinets that we can use, right? So we could even get rid of this one with a K and then a H and then we can put this doll cabinet instead. What? It, it, it gives completely new idea for the kitchen, right? So then we can click on it again. It stays with the off menu and then we can put, pull up this and we can connect that. And we can put this here. And then we can either choose to pull like a corner piece like so, or maybe this. And sorry, I just kicked, kicked, poked the microphone for no reason. But how big of a difference with the cabinets alone does that bring, right? So then we can also pull up a corner piece here we can pull up another of these tiny pieces here. 
here you can see that there is a gap because this is a end piece. So if it bothers you, we need to get rid of that and pull up another regular piece here. And then around here, you saw my mouse going absolutely insane. I'm so sorry, I can't help it. But here, for example, we could end the cupboards like so and not have anything on this spot. I'll show you in a minute why. But now we can pull up with the move object, we can pull this up in here and it's technically doing what it's supposed to. We can also consider putting this up here and hiding the whole console up here. I'm pointing it out with my finger, but I probably should put a circle. Like we can hide this area of um, the hood, whatever this is called. We have different ways of doing it. I like to hide it like so, but some people like to do it like this. Then we have the shelves and with the E again, we can copy it and now you can see that the shelf actually can go anywhere you want because of the move objects. Well, it's inside the fridge. I'm pretty... Uh, well, I just don't like doing this. So I like to go with the control 9, push it one up and then a H and we have a shelf there. Which we can, uh, I don't know, put some clutter on. And we can put on like, that. Th those are huge, aren't they? Yeah, they, they go through the <laughs> cupboard above. Um, that's big. Well, let's just put some pictures on there, right? Oh, that's a big one as well. Yikes. That wasn't as easy as I thought. That picture and maybe some towel. Um, what, what are these? Pri tissues, right? Right. And then another picture. Like, ta-da! It's so much cuter, right? Right? Now, compared to the other kitchen, we are missing the island area, which we can fix in no time at all. We can connect them like so with the counter here, or we can consider making something a little different. With this, I'm going to pull up the crit again, trying to turn it so that the um, lighting is not being freaky on it. Here are many, many options for the bar counters. So many possibilities. You can make literally a... <laughs> My mouse is going nuts, help. <laughs> Why is it doing this? We can do literally a circle, if we so wish. But this means that we can't put a chair to it. It doesn't have that little, um, this, what, what do you call this? Oh my goodness, this little like edge here. So you can't put a chair to it, which means that it's not good for us if we wanted to have it as a um, dining area. So we need to figure out some other thing. We click again to choose a color or like we are trying to change the shape of our bar. It seems that these inner corners are without the ledge. This one has it, but the inner corner doesn't. This outer corner does. And then this um, rounded inner corner doesn't. So we try to keep in the outer corners things. And we could consider trying to do something along this you can do insane shapes with these just experiment okay you can do such a crazy things and they're also pretty and for these you can snug the chair on into these certain spots because it doesn't click on it would be perfect it would if it could be here right but it wants to be into the corners here so that's how we are gonna do it so it's yet again a playable kitchen. Um, here you might see that there is a little bit of a smaller gap here. Sim can walk behind here, it's no problem. But it might look like he's taking a shortcut through the wall or the chair, so ignore that. But it is something that the Sims can do, go through things, little magicians as they are. So here we are missing something from our kitchen. I don't know why I keep forgetting to put 
we 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 forget to put the sink in. But in this case, we have uh, the we have possibility to put a sink on this bar as well. But it wouldn't look as nice, right? But for this, I think it's quite perfect if we put it into the island, right? It makes the biggest difference to this kitchen. There we go. Take a look, see. I mean, it's um, it's a difference. You can say that for sure. And now to looking at this, I can see that there's one thing I would change, and that is to get rid of this one and replacing it possibly with a quarter piece like so, so it doesn't have that um, ugly white showing like in this piece. So it does give a little bit more character to it. Now, in this kitchen, we don't have any appliances, so we could probably put a microwave in there. We could possibly consider having a coffee maker in there. In this corner here, you can turn the coffee maker this way as well. It can, in some kitchens, make a lot of sense, but in this one, not so much, so I'm gonna turn it this way. In my case, I also, now that I'm looking at it, I would not probably put the coffee maker there, but there, and move this microwave over here. And what I'm missing in The Sims is to be able to put the microwave on a wall. That would be perfect. How many of you have your microwave nowadays on a counter instead of on the wall? Yeah, I thought so. And never ever forget that teeny tiny bin into your kitchen. So now we have a kitchen basically done. That's done, done, done. Nothing new here. And now I'm thinking that I can copy this like so as it is, because this is what our goal was to make this kind of a kitchen. But now we need to add some clutter. And for example, on this wall, I would definitely add a window if it was a build like that, that I could add a window there. I do not know what kind of a house this would be, but I would add a window there. Let's move these two here. So we can see that, okay, it, it's a it's decent height. Yeah, okay. And I know some builders like to put windows behind the kitchen like so. I don't. I, I, I don't personally like to do it. it it's, it's just not something I have seen that often, to be honest, so it doesn't feel right to me. But some people like to do it, and they can do it. Um, then I would probably add some curtains, whatever curtains right now. I'm not too fussed about it. Let's just put those. And man, those are really far out now that I look at it. That starts to bother me now. Let's look away. What we want to do is to add some clutter. So we can either click on this, like... Um, miscellaneous decorations that are listed under kitchen. But when I go through this, there are things that I would never put in a kitchen. Okay, so... <laughs> what, why why are these here? Why, why are these items here? I don't understand. It's just absolute garbage. So what I always do is go to object by function and then I go to the decorations. And here... You have very many options to go through, okay? It's a little insane how much there is. And to learn where everything is, is just to keep building. You have to just try to memorize everything. And especially with the upcoming update, it means that all these icons are going to be all the same color. So it's going to be absolutely impossible to recognize the packs from each other anymore by color. So you just have to memorize what item, how long have you had it, what pack was it from, was it the base game, was it the game pack, was it the expansion, you know. But now we can look like, okay, there's like a sp spice box duo here, all right? And this is particularly really annoying spice box because it doesn't go on a shelf. It's a tiny enough, right? But it doesn't want to go in there. How rude. I have a trick I can show you to do that. So if we want to have a shelf, for example, here, we can actually adjust this. 
like so. But now for the idea of um, being able to lift things to the correct height, I need to show you that there are tables like this that you can lift with the control 9. And some of them are on the right height for the shelf, some are not. So it might take us a while to find the correct table or display case or whatever to um, put it on the right height, but we can find it eventually, like so. That's on the right height, at least close enough. So we can leave that floating in the air and we can go back to the decorations and then we can look for the spice boxes again that were here. And now we need to move this counter from the bottom here because if we try to track it onto the shelf here, it actually wants to snap onto the counter. So let's move it out of the way, let's put it outside here. And then I'm gonna hold Alt, press Alt down, then you click on the item and then you can drag it wherever you want on the shelf and it'll be on the freaky shelf, right? It's not floating. Let me demonstrate what it looks like when it's lifted like this, how usually people do. What happens is that the item might not be exactly on the same height. You can see a teeny tiny difference here. These are glass jars, so it doesn't show it as bad, but there were items that I could probably show it better with if I knew where what the items were. I come across to them every once in a while, but when I need them, I can't remember them. How fitting, right? Well, I don't know if this is one of them. That could be one of them that doesn't quite uh, no, that's fine as well. Okay, fine. Until proven wrong, let's go with the fact that they, they know how to go at the correct height. <laughs> some items, I, I swear, some items just don't lift to the right height unless you use this table uh, trick here. Some just don't get to the right height. I just can't come up with any item right now, which is a little awkward. Um, on the counters, I like to put like fruits, maybe. Oh, oh, oh. Mouse, thank you. Um, if you want to, you can press M to try and find a perfect spot for it on the one counter that you are trying to put it on. Or you can move this aside, move this aside. Alt to the bottom again, and then move it a perfect spot where it's not going to be on the way and it looks like it's actually meant to be there, a decorative item. Same thing here, we can move that aside, we can choose these clutters here, aim it a little bit there. And it's still usable counter for the sim. This is not going to be blocking the sim from using the counter. However, if you keep bashing things to it, that will take the space up and you move, use move objects on. It means that they are, as on my not so berry you have seen probably that the sims are mixing cake batter inside the coffee maker. That can happen. Even without the cheats on sometimes. But majority of the time, if you do this kind of a clutter up, it means that the sim will just use the space anyway, because they're considered floating items. With the way I did that, because if I move this again, the clutter is now moving with it. When again, if I put it on this corner, it does move it with me. But if I drag it off, it's only the counter again that I'm moving. These were pretty simple things, in my opinion. They were from this super simple kitchen that has no cheats used to move objects, see, cheat with the counters and stuff, and then a little bit of a clutter. And I know some people love clutter, but I keep on saying that if you want the sim house to be usable, like I always do when I build my sim houses. I want them to be actually usable and not just beautiful. 
then you do need to cut down with the clutter because sim are just a little dumb. They just can't handle with all the clutter. And majority of the people don't have the type of computers that can handle the clutter either. So if you are using a ton of clutter, it means that you are cutting off some people from using your home because simply their computers are not strong enough. Okay, that's a huge flower. I didn't like that. <laughs> Let's move it away. But yeah, like you, you are just refusing to make a build that other people can use and enjoy as much as you enjoyed making it. If you overdo the clutter and all the move objects and floating items and I mean, yeah, they're beautiful. But how many of you have actually that type of computer that can run the amount of I'm going to swear now, so be aware that amount of crap in that build. Your FPS will reduce, your quality of game will reduce with that build. Sometimes the longer the build takes to load from the gallery, it means that there's just so much stuff that it's not worth it. And it's just better to Alt F4 on that point and not save the game and wait for it to crash. You know, go through what we have. We have the kitchen one with no special things. We just have a working kitchen, nothing, nothing fancy. Um, then we have the one with the cornered counter pieces. We have a little bit of a fancier bar counter. We have the island with the sink, sink with the island, island with the sink. <laughs> and we also remember to give this kitchen a bin when on the first one we didn't we also have some appliances which is always awesome and then we have the a little bit of more done a little bit more done a little bit more clutter a little bit more lived look alike i do have some few items that i would probably like to list which are kind of like these i would size this down a little bit and with the alt, I would move it down here, probably like looking like it's on the counter. It's like a cutting board. It looks like that, right? Then we have somewhere, somewhere, somewhere we have knives, right? So, so we could put the knives here. So this is like the cooking area. It would show like, yeah, they, they cook here. But this is what I came up for today. And I hope you got something out of it but it was just one of those things that people keep asking so much and so often that it bothered me that they do not know how to use the counters and the um what were those called what is my english today cabinets wow my english is so horrible today i'm so sorry but yeah i will see you in the next one then have fun bye bye